Jackson's shoulder. And they go with Aaron Harris as the lone setback. And he's back to pass, of course. Shoppy and Field. he's going long to Shoppy Field. Got and it. he makes the catch at the 50. He's at the 45, the and 40, nothing. the 35, the 30. He's going all the way down the sideline. Penn State says no, no flags, no flags, no flags. That's what you do when you take a gamble. Shoppy Fields has been doing it all year. It was a great throw by Kevin Thompson, right on the money, and Shoppy Fields showed his 4-3 sprinter speed. He ran away from a good cornerback. And that Paul Penn stayed out of the grease in 1999, and there are some who say that's the last really big signature road win for Penn State against a major opponent. And Kenny Jack, you just ran my cage in right there. What's up? Uh, did you Shopping see those knees? Fields, did you see those hot knees coming out of there? Did you run down the sideline with them. That was big, man. You needed that. No, that, that was one of the great plays. And there's KJ right there looking at him, getting him down that sideline. I had to try to catch him. I think I was the only I guy. I think he had could. cool eyewear back then. What do you think, Chop? I think so. He I did. So. You no, know, he still got a little bit left in those legs. Now. He did. He was running for he at least 10 one, or 15 yards. He can give you 140. Yards. Yeah, We're delighted to have one. you uh, with us. Uh, is there anything like a big game night here at Beaver Stadium? I mean, you got the number one ranked team in the country. What an opportunity for Penn State tonight. It's definitely a, a big opportunity for Penn State to make a statement about where they are as a team. Um, I don't think Ohio State has played the, the caliber of team as Penn State right now. I think it'll be a big test for them, and I think the home field advantage will probably give us the upper hand, and we'll pull it out. <laughs> it's about as big an upper uh, home field as you can get your hands on, there's no doubt. Well, Kenny? You, you made a lot of good plays, and you've watched the team this year. What do you think, especially with Penn State, you, you represent quite a few players around the league, as well as Ohio State kids and some Penn State kids. What do you think about this matchup? Where do you see it going? I think that the strength of Ohio State plays into the strength of Penn State. Being Ohio State likes to pass the ball down the field. I think Penn State has one of the best corners in the country in Justin King. And I think that'll be the strength and that'll be the difference in the game. Penn State's defense, I believe, is ranked number fourth in the country. Whereas Ohio State's defense, I don't know if they'll be able to slow down Penn State's defense if Morelli can get it together today. Now we're going to find out and I think Justin King comes in here maybe with a chip on his shoulder after the 14 catch game by uh, Hardy last week for Indiana. Hardy's a handful man at six foot seven. <laughs> I think King's a great player. I think the next step for him is to become more physical isn't it Chaffee. Actually you know what if, if you, anybody that knows football understands football if you watch the game. They didn't have Justin up on the line of scrimmage challenging Hardy at all. He was playing 10 yards off the ball. Hardy caught a lot of passes underneath. He caught the one touchdown in the end zone that if you're not 6'5", you can't stop it. <laughs> so I think Justin did a good job last week. Well, you represent one of the great wide receivers here. He's in the uh, six years ago. He had a couple of big plays, and they come from behind win for Penn State. Uh, they're down 27-9. Bryant Johnson had a great career here and uh, was one of the go-to guys in 2002. As uh, we look back at uh, some of the great plays here, Zach Mills, doesn't seem like that long ago. There he is, <laughs> Bryant Johnson, great player here. Brian Johnson is, is a, was a great player here as he is a great player now in the NFL. Now, Chappie, you, you represent these guys. Well, from your playing days, how do you get those guys to understand what it takes to be able to perform in a big game like this? Well, actually, most guys that come from Penn State, they understand what it means to perform in a big game. But a lot of guys from a lot of other schools, some of the small schools, might not understand a platform like an Ohio State versus Penn State. But at the same time, when you're this caliber of an athlete, it's not hard to get up for a game like this. And also Levi Brown is uh, one of the guys you represent, fifth overall to the Arizona Cardinals last April. A guy that was a converted defensive tackle here at Penn State and is only in his fifth year competitively on the offensive line at the elite level. I mean, the ceiling is unlimited here. The ceiling for Levi Brown is heaven. Levi Brown is an astounding athlete, incredible athlete, and his talent is really untapped as of yet. He's still learning how to play offensive line. As you said, he's only played four years at the position. So Levi, Levi, his, his potential is, is un, un, unreachable, really. <laughs> And also one of the greatest players. I don't know. ESPN's doing the top 25 college players of all time. Somebody please explain to me how Reggie Bush is only 24th on that list and not in the top 10. Could somebody please explain what's going on around here? I know one of the best players I've ever seen in college football. And Taffy, you and Joe Siegel represent this young man. Give us some insight about why he was so special. Reggie Bush may be one of the hardest working young men that I've ever been around. 
it doesn't come easy for him like people may think. I mean, granted, he has a lot of God-given talent and ability, but this guy is a gym rat. He works hard day in and day out, and he's the ultimate competitor. This guy wants to win every time he steps out on the, on, the, on the field. He wants to score a touchdown every time he gets the ball in his hand. He's a leader by example, and he's just a great, humble young man. You know what I always love about Reggie Bush, and it's this way in the NFL, when the light is brightest, that's when he shines the most. I mean, this guy is about as big a game clutch performer as there's been in recent college football history. Only Vince Young, in my opinion, Sir Pat, is right on the same page. He's awesome. If you want to be a big time player, you got to show up in the big games. And that's exactly what we saw in, in the highlights introducing Chaffee Fields against Miami. We needed a big play. Chaffee came up with a big play. So the big players, anytime you want to be successful at any level, you want to compete against the best, you want to show, you want to be there on ABC, CBS, prime time is where you want to be. And that's when the big guys show up. And, and that's what Chappie is, is explaining about Reggie Bush. And I tell you what, a game like this, if I was shooting up tonight, I would fight everybody on the sideline until I made a play. <laughs> and he can vouch for that. <laughs> and that's what we're talking about with Morelli. Until Morelli can be in a position where he can win one of these games. Because it, it doesn't matter how it good it look until you can win the big one. No different than Peyton Manning and the rest. Let's keep talking. You have all the stats, right. but you have to win the big one. Well, I think you're a credit again. It's the men who play here that make Penn State special, and I can't believe it's like been eight years ago since that play against Miami. That seems like yesterday. And again, helping guys, uh, you know, for the next 50 years and not the next five. Uh, it's been great having you. Thank right. you for it's coming. It's my pleasure. On. It's my pleasure.